this is, wait a minute, winner 07 number 3, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you see any notation, uh, just like in class, remember you saw this stuff? Yeah. And every vertice, when it's not drawn, in, it's a carbon. Okay. So that goes for anything that's a common organic way of drawing stuff. So in this case, we have benzene. It's a, basically a hexagon with carbon atoms not drawn in. Carbon, 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 carbon. There's some other atoms too, but you don't have to worry about those at this point. Pyridine. Notice it draws one of them in, the nitrogen, because it's not carbon. Carbon's the only one you do this for. And then the rest are double bonds. Uh, octane, carbon tet, toluene. Same thing. It's also a hexagon. We don't have, it's a shorthand notation for organic chemistry. Okay, and then what do they want to do here? Which of the following uh, is most readily soluble in water? Okay, well, water, H2O, this is, it's definitely polar, the dominant force. So we're looking for the one that's most soluble is the one that's polar. If it can also hydrogen bond, that's good too. Okay? So, let's take a look at these. These are all carbons. And you can see it's very symmetric. So, this one really has no dipole at all. In fact, uh, there's no electronegativity difference between any of them. There's hydrogens in here too that are not drawn in. There's no difference. Here, this one has a lot of potential. This is going to be polar. It has a dipole going this direction towards the nitrogen because nitrogen is more electronegative than carbons. This one, uh, it is asymmetric. It might have a slight dipole. The problem is, though, carbon between carbon and carbon, there's no electronegativity difference. In fact, hydrogen and carbon when you took 2A, you might have learned this. If you didn't, you can know now. There's no electronegativity difference between hydrogen and carbon. So in fact, there's no dipoles anywhere here. It is asymmetric. I understand that. However, there's just no dipole. They're all the same atom. And you need different atoms to create a dipole. So in fact, this is your best selection right here. And also, the thing it'll do, if you have... This is actually a good question to clarify some stuff here. Uh, so, for, in order for something to hydrogen bond, that happens between two different molecules, and it'll happen between the hydrogen here and the nitrogen there. Remember, you need a hydrogen and another nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. Usually, when we've talked about hydrogen bonding, it's between water and itself. So when you have water in itself, of course it's going to H bond. And it'll H bond like this. From here to here, and here to here. Okay, so water H bonds like that. So you need, you, if it's the same molecule, it's kind of irrelevant. But when it gets to a different molecule, you want to be clear on this concept. The hydrogen is bonding to an electronegative element actually on a different atom, nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. And this hydrogen must be attached to an electronegative element, nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. Does that make sense? Yeah, so in the situation where, where water molecules are binding to water molecules, are those two H's that are just kind of out there just free floating? These H's here? Yeah, are they going to bind to anything? There, yeah, anyway? another water. They mean there's zillions of waters in here. So it's just like a continual... It, it's a matrix oh. of bonded, H-bonded uh, water. So whenever any water you have, it's, there's a full matrix of it. forms this... Uh, because it's a liquid, they move around a lot and things change, but there is some small structure within it. So if we were to pour any of those other two in there, they would just kind of separate one float on top of the other? Exactly. These would float on top because organics are less dense, just like oil floats on water. <laughs> and they wouldn't mix. 
This one though has a dipole that could actually even hydrogen, it's a strong dipole and it could hydrogen bond, very easily can mix. So this would be called soluble or miscible with water. If we were to put the other two together in a test tube, what would happen? That's a great question. What would these two do if they were mixed? Would they mix? mix? Would they mix? No. Like, like, they're both nonpolar. They're yeah. both nonpolar, yeah. So they both would mix. Again, be careful of this one. It does look asymmetric. The problem is all the atoms are the same. So there's no dipole here, even though it does look asymmetric. So like the molecule CH, uh, just carbon and hydrogen would have no dipole? If, uh, if something like CH, a CH bond, I'll say it this way, has no dipole. Mm -hmm. okay. And a CC bond obviously would have a dipole, because it's the same.